At Valentine's Day tragedy in Arlita, where a 17 year old boy was shot and killed at a house party. We have new details tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Leanne Suter is live with more from his friends who returned for a candlelight vigil. Leanne. Friends say that Christian Camacho wanted to take care of his mom more than anything after losing his father just a few weeks ago. You can see a memorial now marks the spot where the 17 year old was shot and killed his mother now planning a second funeral. They gather by candlelight, united in their grief and sorrow. I just know that he's not going to be here no more, you know? It's hard to know that, like, he's not going to be going to, like, dance with me out no more. 17-year-old Christian Camacho was gunned down Friday night at a Valentine's Day party in Arlita. Two others injured. His devastated friends struggling to make sense of his sudden murder. It was like, it was like a brother to me, you know? I've been knowing him since like literally sixth grade and like we always do everything together. Friends say Camacho loved to dance no matter where or when. His free spirit always shining through. He, he was never shy. Like he was just always, yeah, he was very social with everybody. He was always very spirited. He like, he really didn't care what nobody said about him. He was just like, you know what, this is me and that's it. Police say the teen got into an altercation with the suspect who pulled out a gun and opened fire before running from the scene. For Camacho's mother and two young brothers, it's a double tragedy. The 17 year old had just lost his father and was focused on taking care of his heartbroken mother. Now they are preparing for a second devastating funeral. He didn't even make it to 18. <laughs> it's just a lot to process and all my parents go out to his mom. She must be going through the toughest time right now. Very difficult. Friends have now set up a GoFundMe to help Camacho's mother. They are also planning on holding a fundraiser here next Sunday. Meanwhile, the search continues for the 17 year old's killer. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.